Hello everyone, welcome back to UK Predator Fishing. Today, there's going to be a few different sessions in this one. Um, I've been out three or four times over the past two weeks, but due to the weather being awful, um, they weren't great for filming. So I thought I'd just show you some highlights from each one. And uh, yeah, there is some really good fish to be seen. And it's been really good. So yeah, we won't waste any more time here. We'll get straight into the video. I hope you all enjoy this one, guys. making a video today I just come out just to fish and enjoy myself no camera equipment with me today look at that two from our mark and play place get these guys back cheers everyone well, I wish I'd have filmed this session now guys just have a nice break there mail probably three or four pounds but yeah it's turning out to be a good session actually Nice fall back, beautiful fish aren't they? Getting back, guys. It's turned out to be a really good session. It's probably the smallest place I've had this year, but that's number 16 out of 100 now. So 84 left to go. I had this with a white in, but I chucked that straight back. Not interested in white in. <laughs> not enough for them over winter. There we go, another Mark and Bay place. And uh, number one, guys. Little place. That's one there. 17, 84 to go. Well, welcome back to UK Predator Fishing. My name is Ricky. Fishing on a local beach tonight. Uh, Alfred Bay. A lot of people will know it. Fish gets fished quite a lot. Good for health and stuff. We're out tonight for our ball of surprise. Two rods on the go. Just a six ounce dynamics and a squid of bluey cocktail on a poly rig. About four foot in total. And uh, yeah, just keep chucking baits out all night. I expect the fish to come on the feed when it gets a bit darker. Um, but yeah, it's awful weather. And it's the only gap in the uh, weather we can find really. But hopefully, we can get on a few fish in. So the rods we're using, uh, just their Century T900 and their Penspin Fisher, that's got 88 pound braid on that I think, J braid multicoloured. And then the other rod has a Tronix Pro Reel, which is Tom's, my friend who's with me, and uh, Akios Creed. I'm not sure what line he's got on, but should be all right. He's got a shock leader, so <laughs> hopefully we don't lose any fish. Right, so here's the mystery bait, guys. I've not used it before, but I heard it's pretty decent for us. It's octopus. The weather is absolutely grim. It's windy. It's non-stop rain. We're out here giving it our best go. So, to be honest, I don't even know how I'm going to bait this up. I've never used it before. <laughs> Just going to chuck out a full octopus, see if we can get anything on it. I think we hope to have spend some time getting it out and then I'm sure we can do a bit of a little 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 bit of a So just got 
down there now uh, on the first cast. Um, I didn't really get a chance to do any filming, but we just landed a nice flounder there. Just measured it, it was about 36 centimetres. So, good start to the day. I took a full crab on a polypenal rig. Quite a greedy little thing, really. Get some more baits up now. Hopefully, we can get a few more fish. So this is a bait we're using tonight. Got a night load of nice peelers. Beautiful crab, ready to. Well, we have pops we need using. All these ones in here are uh, ready to go. Just using uh, pulley rigs, six ounce Namics, uh, 80 pound rig body, 30 pound snood, I think. Uh, just to give a pulley pedal rig. Uh, yeah, I've had that flounder already. I'm going to check out a full mackerel soon as well, see if we can get a conger. And uh, yeah, we'll bring you back when we get some more action. So the tide's just about turned now. Uh, I've had a couple of white in as well. Uh, nothing else so far. We're just waiting for it to flood in. Hopefully it'll bring a few fish in with it. Uh, as, a, as the tide comes in, hopefully it brings in a few fish too. It's just hit low water now. Um, tide's just coming in. Just change things up a little bit guys, um, just still using crab but I've just put a bit of squid onto the back of the bait, um, hopefully it'll just stop the crabs from eating the bait so quick because it's getting stripped pretty quickly, uh, you get that a lot with estuaries and channels and stuff like that, there's a lot of crabs active. Um, Tide is pushing in a little bit now, so I expect the fish to come on the feed too, hopefully. Uh, I'll be really happy if we get a cold fish tonight, that's what I've set out to come and get, so yeah. Really nice night, it's quite quite nice to have a, a, a bit of decent weather for once. Uh, I have done a bit of fishing, which uh, I'll put a few clips in here, I had a few plays form back rays but it was just impossible to uh to film just because of the wind it was like 50 mile an hour or something stupid like that uh, but yeah in the next upcoming weeks uh, i expect some really good fishing so i'll get some really good content out there hopefully the hounds will come in in the next couple of weeks hopefully we can get a big a big female as it's coming in uh, that's when you that's when you get your big big 20 pounders and stuff like that um, also bull huss hopefully <laughs> i'm a very determined person but i've been really considering giving up on the bull huss to be honest i just can't seem to get a big one um, i've had them up to like nine pound on the boat and i think like five or six pound off the shore but i really want to get a double figure one that is my aim that's my biggest aim this year also next week there's quite a decent window in the weather for some place fishing next thursday so i might book the day off and just spend the day on the place for them um, and then when the tides get big again that's when i'll hit the bull huss and the, the farm back raise and hopefully there might be a couple of smooth hounds as well um, i'll probably fish one rod with mackerel or bluey baits for the huss and rays and then i'll chuck one rod out with crab just to see if we can pick up an early hound um, but yeah yeah, I'm really happy with how the channel's going at the minute too. So thank you very much to everyone that's supported me so far uh, through the journey. Um, I think I'm on like 2,000, nearly 2,100 subscribers now. So it's, uh, it's really good to be fair. I, um, I've only been doing it for about nine months, I think. And I had a decent break in between that over winter just because winter was fishing terribly um, but yeah hopefully we get a few more fish tonight i'll stop talking gibberish and then i'll bring you back when we get some more action so this one this crab here is actually peeled while it's been in the bucket that's a freshly fully peeled crab there we'll get that guy out 
Hopefully he can get us a decent fish. Cracking bass here. Don't really have a measure on it. It's too big, but probably say 55 centimeters, 56 centimeters, something like that. There it is, guys. Cracking fish. Get this one back now. It's going to take it for the plate, but I'm going to put it back. So a nice flatty there, uh, along with a whiting. I haven't, weighed, and I haven't measured it, but it's probably 35, 36 centimetres. We'll get him back. Another flounder there. It's turning out to be a night session down here today. And yeah, um, that was pretty much it for them sessions. Um, I think that's some decent fish to be fair. Um, I just wish I got some more footage of them really, but the weather was just awful. Um, so it was no good for filming. Um, I also got a fair bit of bait too, um, which you'll see here. So I was having a look around online to try and find some bait to buy in bulk. And uh, I found this really good um, website called Baits R Us. So it was five pounds of squid, five packs of mackerel, five packs of bluey and even some octopus. I think I got three bait binders too. And that worked out at about 47 pounds delivered. So absolute bargain. Um, definitely go and check them out, guys. And that was it. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, if you did like it, give us a like and subscribe. And I'll see you down the road in the next video.